Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I just finished filming for 20 minutes and my camera wasn't on. I know we've all done that, but it's incredibly frustrating. So it is what it is. All right. So in the meantime, <laughs> I opened like eight blind bags for what I thought was you guys. And it turned out I was just talking to the air, but okay, here we are. So what I said on the other video, and I'll say again, is you know how you walk into the Dollar Tree and you just say to yourself, this is not going to be a good haul t tonight. Well, that is not what happened. I walked in, it looked dire. It just looked like, oh, just Valentine's and St. Patrick's Day stuff, even some Easter stuff, nothing new or exciting or anything I really wanted. And then I walked into the toy aisle and I found blind bags, which for me are... A bit of advice. I have trouble saying no to them, especially when I have a good excuse, which is I'll take them to school. <laughs> so let me show you what I found because uh, Theoni had shown these on her channel, Jurassic World blind bags. And what I found is if you look at the top and you look at the numbers, you can make sure you do not get any duplicates because they're all different. K is for Karen taught me that. Thank you, Karen, if you're watching this. So I checked all the numbers and I made sure they were all different and they are all different. So let me show you what I got. <laughs> it's like I opened them, most of them already, so I can show you. So first we have T-Rex and this guy, his mouth opens and closes, which is pretty cool. So we have T-Rex and then I have Stegosaurus. His mouth is way too small to open, but he's awful cute. I don't think it, oh, his tail moves. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. The kids will probably pull it off. <laughs> Triceratops, I don't think, does his head move? Oh, his head moves, cool. Well, we'll see. I should do toy testing at my school. I can tell you <laughs> what will last and what won't when you give it to a group of children. And I don't know the names of these guys. This guy's mouth opens and closes too. Different, different. Also mouth, no, mouth, no. This one doesn't, nothing. Nothing happens here. It looks like it should, but it doesn't really. Okay, that's okay. And then this guy is very handsome. And this guy, and they're all different. And I have one that I didn't open. <laughs> so let me open it for you and show you and see what it is. It's got to be different. You could also tell by feeling the bags. Oh, oh, look. Oh, I have two sets of dinosaurs at school. One that I keep at every day. Oh, look, the wings turn. Ah. And uh, with all the big dinosaurs, but I don't keep those out every day because honestly, the kids can hurt themselves with those. So those require some special supervision. But then I have smaller dinosaurs that I keep on the shelf every day. So I will add these to those and the kids are gonna love it because whenever we get new toys, they're like, ooh. <laughs> They're very excited. The other, they're not exactly blind bags, but they're these Polly Pocket bags. I was very excited when someone uh, hauled these and I saw them because uh, if your children grew up in the 80s or 90s, you'll be familiar with the real Polly Pockets, which they're like little compacts that open up and inside is furniture and all kinds of stuff that's attached to the compacts. Google it if you don't know. And then later, I think in the OOs, they came out with um, a big Polly Pocket that wasn't chokeable. <laughs> like, don't give them to your kids if they're too little, okay? And they were dull and they didn't sell well. So, but here's the problem. Most of the little Polly Pocket dolls that went to the original compacts are lost. And I brought all my girls' Polly Pockets into school and they've lasted. I mean, they, the compacts themselves, it's very rare for them to break. But the dolls, they're made out of hard plastic and they break very easily. And the dolls sell on eBay for anywhere between 3 to $5 a doll. So I only give the kids a couple dolls at a time. And so, you know, it's kind of a bone of contention. I don't have a doll. I say, well, you have to wait for your turn. But, and then I find them, then they break and whatever. So when I saw somebody haul these, I said, OMG, this is awesome. Let me look at them. So I looked at them in the store today and they are the bomb. They look really big here, but they're really not. Now the original Polly Pocket dolls were about two thirds of this. They were about this big 
from top to bottom. These are bigger, but I'll tell you what I like about these. They're flexible. Look at this. Wang. I'll have to tell the kids, don't pull the legs. But hopefully these will last, and they're a dollar, and in the dollar you get three things. You get something. Look at this adorable flamingo. How cute. Something to put the doll in, and every pack comes with a ring. So what I'm going to do with these rings is put them in my treasure chest. So if my kids want them, they can pick them out for treasure. So this one comes with a flamingo. There's a donut one. Tony, a donut. <laughs> There's, those are just, these I will take to school because they're just little additions that, you know, I can add to the toy basket. Now this one's a necklace. I remember my girls love the necklaces and it does have a breakaway, which is awesome. I will not let my kids come in the door with a necklace that's not breakaway because I don't want anybody choking. But I'm still not going to take this necklace to school. I'm just going to take this off. As a matter of fact, let me take it off right now. And I'll take the rocket ship to school so they can play with it and put the doll inside, which is very cute. So the doll can go inside. I like the dolls are multicultural. They're not all white. Yeah. There are other people in the world, you know. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day, by the way, everybody. You could see she's in there. Oh. <laughs> so I'll take these to school tomorrow. And uh, the kids are just going to love it. So I got two of each one. They come in a little package like this along with their thing. Here, I have one that I didn't open, so let's open this one. Now, what's nice about these is they're not blind bags, so you can see what's in there. It's like the blind bags either need to have numbers on them or you need to be able to see into them, which, of course, isn't really a blind bag, but let's see what's in here. Okay, all right. So we have a little blonde girl in a little package here. And she comes with the ring. Every package has a ring. And this is, I don't know what this is. It looks like a soda, a cup of soda that she could go in. I don't know if I'm gonna take that to school, we'll see. But anyway, so I got about six of those. I made sure I got two of every one because they fight over, do you remember those ponies? Not the My Little Ponies, but the other ones they came out with. They were brightly colored and there were two in a pack and they were bigger than the My Little Ponies. Well silly me. I didn't buy two of every color. I thought, oh, I've got all the My Little Ponies. It won't matter. It did matter. Last week, two of the girls were practically in a fist fight over one of those ponies. Oh my gosh. So I made sure I got two of each one. So we have blonde, we have a redhead, we have a couple brown-haired girls. So anyway, oh here, here's a redhead. There's a brown-haired girl. Yeah. So Oh, here's one more brown hair. So I'm gonna bring those to school. The other things that I bought this week, which are not exciting, but I wanna show you, cause I like to show you what I got. I got two bottles of this, cause I need to clean the basement, cause my kitties have peed and pooped all over the place. So I need to clean down there. I got four buckets. I'm not gonna show you the buckets. I got a broom, two mops, so we'll see at some point this week I'm gonna get get down in there start cleaning now let me show you I also got a bunch of Valentine cards but I'm not gonna show you the Valentine cards because I'm gonna send them to you guys so I got 10 Valentine cards and I also got gloves for cleaning the basement and masks pretty stinky down there but the fun thing I want to show you, okay, I showed you the dinos, the Polly Pockets, the cards, the cleaning stuff. Oh, I got a pack of this. I love popcorners. I just haven't eaten them in a while, so I got a pack. And I also got some of these. Oh, I love these. They're so yummy. I haven't had them in a while. Okay, so you might remember, if you've seen all of my videos, which probably most of you haven't, but that I did a project for school and we actually haven't done it yet, but I'll just remind you where I took some one of these. I got two sets of these and I put things in them and then filled it with water and then you put it in the freezer and then when it's frozen, you pop it out, put it on a, in a bowl and you give, you could do this at home with your child, give them a bowl of salt and a little pitcher of water 
and they just put the salt on and it's science they see how the salt melts the ice and so does the water and then they dig the things out so I had put dinosaurs and marbles and I can't remember what else so uh, but I only I realized we just haven't had time to do it at school we've been very busy doing other things and um, I thought you know I better make six more because I need to have at least one per kid so anyway I was gonna go for the dinosaurs but they had these ponies look at all these ponies crazy for a dollar so I'm like all right so I'm gonna put a couple ponies in here and they did not have marbles I couldn't believe it it was one of the few times they didn't have marbles so I thought well what else am I gonna put in here so I got dominoes so and I'm thinking things that you can put in that won't be ruined by salt and water look at these cute dominoes they're so cute so figure I'll put a couple of these in here in each one I don't want to put those beautiful dinosaurs in. The dinosaurs that I put in the last ones were just the cheap ones, you know, that you buy. They were eight for a dollar, the dinosaurs. So I said, why not get this? It has so much more. So I'll put this stuff in here. I gotta put something else in. I'm gonna have to figure it out. Well, I'm not doing it tonight, so it doesn't matter. And then I'll freeze these and I'll have six more. I do have 14 kids, but you know. How many did I get? Oh, oh, I have eight more. So that's perfect, that's exactly 14. So so that was, I just wanted to show you because this is a project I'm gonna do for school. I'm just gonna have to look for one more thing to put in these before I freeze them. Cause all I have right now are these and these. But I don't think we're gonna get to it this week anyway. We are gonna be in China this week and one of the projects we do is we build the Great Wall of China. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, well, what we do is I take foam core. You know, it look, it's in the poster board section of the Dollar Tree, it's got it's like poster board, but it's really thick. And I cut them into little uh, rectangles, and the kids paint them green, like the grass. And then they take sugar cubes. Let me show you. I've got them right here. And they use sugar cubes to build their walls. So each kid gets about half a pack of sugar cubes. And I let them eat one. <laughs> it doesn't take much with children, I'll tell you. But when we're using food, I do let them taste one. So they get to suck on a sugar cube, or sometimes they crunch it while they're building the Great Wall of China. And I have a big poster I put all across the room of the Great Wall. So that's a very labor-intensive project. So I don't think we're going to get to the ice things this week, but um, maybe next week. So I've got them in the freezer. So, so, um, so anyway, oh yeah, the last thing I want to tell you before I say goodbye is the foam core. The stuff, it's like really, really, really thick poster board. I, I've looked at the stuff at the Dollar Tree and it's, it's not that sturdy. And I thought, I don't know, let me go to Staples and see how much it is. Oh my gosh. I went to Staples and it was $5.39 for one. Yeah, it's big, but just one? I wasn't going to pay 20 bucks. I needed four. 20, $25 it would have been. Almost $25, almost. So I said, no. And my Walmart nearby me is being renovated, so I couldn't go to Walmart, which is where I usually get my foam core, because it's like $2 there, and it's really nice quality. So I said, no, I'm just going to go to Dollar Tree. And also, the stuff they had at Staples, it wasn't any thicker than what they sell at Dollar Tree. I mean, you have got to be kidding me. So I went to Dollar Tree, and I got all this other stuff, but I picked up four pieces of the foam core, a dollar each. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. I was just so shocked. I thought, well, because I'm going into Staples and I'm saying, well, what if it's, it's probably going to be like $3, maybe 4 And I said to myself, what if it's 5 And I said, I'm not going to buy it if it's 5 So I see the price and I say, well, let's see how good quality is. And just really poor quality? No. Always know your prices, ladies. Always know your prices because, I mean, it's the difference between $4 and $25. And yes, I will get reimbursed for it, but still, crazy. So anyway, I just had to tell you that shopping story because that's one of the reasons we're here is to help each other save money. So yeah. I mean, even in the, where was it? What other store was I in? I was in a few, oh, I went to Joanne tonight also. And in Joanne, the foam core was three, 350? I didn't even look at it. I said, I don't care. I'm just going to Dollar Tree and get it at Dollar Tree. That's fine. 
And anyway, I do have a little Joanne haul for you I'm going to film, but not for tonight. So they still had all their paper stuff, 60% off. I'm telling you, I got some more washi. I got a few more things. That'll be in another video. All right, thanks for sticking with me, guys. And um, sorry I wasn't around very much, but I, I had a really, really stressful week with parent-teacher conferences, and I've been feeling under the weather. I think I slept this whole weekend, so I'm really starting to feel like myself again. So anyway, have a great week, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. See ya.